So this here is a video on how to program your 6S ESC, which is this one here. So what you need to program your ESC is the LCD programmer, which is right here. And you need a power source, preferably your LiPo batteries, which you plug in. And you can also plug the motor wires into a brushless motor, which is right here. So to actually use the LCD programmer, you need to look at the ports in the back. These two you could put either a UBEC or your BEC and a ESC signal wire. And it doesn't really matter which port you plug it into, it just has to be plugged into one of them. And this here is to plug a USB plug to plug it into your computer and program using the software. It's also used to flash new firmware to your ESC if you need to. So the simple way of doing it is to grab your ESC, make sure it goes to a power source, and take your ESC wire here. You're going to place it to the back side so the black wire or ground wire is facing the left side. So we're going to put it in like this. So we go ahead and put it in here. And once you turn on your system and turn on your power to your ESC, it should pop up. And you can go ahead and adjust your settings here. So the first option we have is motor timing. You could hit value to change the value. You could actually set it to very high. And you can see that there is a response with the motor once you do create a setting. So the second option is acceleration. We can go very high. And then if you see here, the motor will actually move. And we have forward reverse brake. Typically, I like to use just forward and brake. I don't like to mess with the brake or the reverse unless you have another um, special button on your handheld controller to use reverse. So I just keep it forward and brake to keep it simple. And value. Oops, let's go ahead and change this back to forward and brake. Next item, brake force. The brake force is in increments of 10%, so 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, etc. And the brake percentage all depends on what kind of motor you have and the batteries, the gearing setup. So the brakes are always best if you don't know what you want your brakes to be to test it first and see if you like it or not. So you can actually set it. We'll set it at, let's say, 40. And then the next item is drag brake. Drag brake is basically once you take your finger off of the controller, it will apply a certain amount of brake. You can always test this out, there's different options. This one's in increments of five, with a maximum of 35. I haven't really played with this too much, but I think it's actually a pretty good idea. Mainly this is used for, if you're going into turns, you can always let off the throttle, and then it'll automatically apply a little bit of brakes for you to slow down. So the next item we have, is the cutoff voltage. I like to set this at about 3.2 to make sure my voltage on my LiPo packs don't go too low. And the next one is gonna be maximum forward force. I keep it at 100 to make sure I got full power. And we have maximum reverse force, which we didn't enable, so this one you could actually skip and motor rotation we keep it at normal the other option is reverse so we keep it at normal and neutral range is the range at which your throttle will respond so if you want it to respond immediately you want to change it to the lowest which is three percent and then if you go higher this means your throttle doesn't activate until it's about nine percent of its full throttle range so we'll keep it at three. And I think there was one more. Motor rotation, neutral range, battery type we keep as LiPo. And that is it. So that's pretty much how you program your 6S ESC. This is also the same way that you program a 12S ESC. 
which we have on our site except for the fact that a 12 se ac doesn't have a built-in beck which is power to your receiver so for this you would need to plug in your ubeck wire into here so your ubeck wire could be something similar to this blue thing here and then you would just take this and plug it in so also what you want to remember is when you plug anything in you always want the power to be completely off this way no power is generated when you actually touch uh, the connectors so have it plugged in fully then turn on power and then it will power on normally um, if you have the power on and then you plug it in it will spark a bit but that's kind of normal so to prevent that and prevent the tips of the connectors from messing up you want to plug it in beforehand and then press power but that's pretty much it that's how you program your 6s esc for an electric skateboard as well as the 12s esc which we have on our website thanks